Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, This is one of the most difficult letters I have been required to write. It is with the most heartfelt sympathy that I, as his commanding officer, write to you of the death of your son, Private First Class Dean Shepard, ASN 989-31357, at 1.30 on the afternoon of 14 April, 1965. Dean was killed in action by enemy fire while in the performance of his duty. While on patrol to locate rocket sites west of Da Nang, his unit was ambushed by snipers. In the ensuing firefight, Dean was struck by multiple enemy rounds and died before he could receive medical attention. The loss of your son, who was affectionately known by everyone in the company as the Shepherd, is felt by every member of this command. He was a fine soldier and a natural leader, and he always put his comrades ahead of himself. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, This is one of the most difficult letters I have been required to write. It is with the most heartfelt sympathy that I, as his commanding officer, write to you of the death of your son, Private First Class Dean Shepard, ASN 989-31357, at 4 o'clock on the afternoon of 17 June 1965. Dean was killed in action by enemy fire while in the performance of his duty. When the APC he was riding became stuck in a rice paddy west of Da Nang, he and his squad were forced to proceed on foot. An ambush ensued, and your son was among the wounded. He died as a result of his wounds without gaining consciousness. The loss of your son, who was affectionately known by everyone in the company as the Shepherd, is felt by every member of this command. He was a fine soldier and a natural leader, and he always put his comrades ahead of himself. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, it is with the greatest regret that I write to inform you of the death of your son, Private First Class Dean Shepard, ASN 9893-1357, at 423 on the morning of 6 June, 1965. Dean bravely volunteered for a hazardous mission that brought him into the line of enemy fire. He was killed due to enemy action while undertaking this mission, which was vital to the success of the war. I am not at liberty to disclose fully the circumstances of Dean's death, but rest assured he died displaying the heroism and professionalism with which he lived. Dean was a fine Marine and never let me or his comrades down. Men such as Dean are hard to come by and impossible to replace, and I know our grief at his death does not compare to that of his family. Yours most sincerely, Frank J. Sturgis, Lieutenant Colonel, MACD, CID. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, it is my sad duty to inform you of the death of your son, Private First Class Dean Shepard, ASN 989-31357, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon of 18 August 1965. Dean was participating in a major combat action south of Da Nang to preempt a communist attack on the airbase at Chu Lai. While I am not aware of the details of your son's death, by all accounts he did his duty as befitting a Marine. The loss of good men is unfortunate but it's inevitable in war. Your son did his best to help thwart communist aggression. As I have recently taken over command of his unit, I personally promise you we will continue to honor his sacrifice by fighting for democracy in Vietnam until victory is attained. Yours most sincerely, Leo McFadden. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, This is one of the most difficult letters I have been required to write. It is with the most heartfelt sympathy that I, as his commanding officer, write to you of the death of your son, Private First Class Dean Shepard, ASN 9893-1357, at 5.15 on the afternoon of 20 January, 1966. Dean was killed in action by enemy fire while assisting South Vietnamese forces in ridding the strategically crucial area north of Saigon of Viet Cong presence. He was patrolling with a group of Arvin Rangers when they confronted elements of a VC battalion that was maintaining a critical supply depot. Dean was wounded several times by small arms fire and expired before he could receive medical attention. Although Dean was assigned to my command, I did not have the pleasure of knowing him personally, as I had been here only a short time, and he was already posted to his temporary assignment, assisting the South Vietnamese in an extension of our combined action. 
Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, This is one of the most difficult letters I have been required to write. It is with the most heartfelt sympathy that I, as his commanding officer, write to you of the death of your son, Private First Class Dean Shepard, ASN 9893-1357, at 2.30 on the afternoon of 16 January, 1967. Dean was killed in action by enemy fire while assisting South Vietnamese forces in ridding the strategically crucial area north of Saigon of Viet Cong presence. While participating in an Eagle flight operation in the area known as the Iron Triangle, his helicopter was forced down and Dean was wounded in the ensuing ground combat. He died before a medevac could arrive. Although Dean was assigned to my command, I did not have the pleasure of knowing him personally, as I have been here only a short time, and he was already posted to his temporary assignment, assisting the South Vietnamese in an extension of our combined action. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, this is one of the most difficult letters I have been required to write. It is with the most heartfelt sympathy that I, as his commanding officer, write to you of the death of your son, Private First Class Dean Shepard, ASN 9893-1357, at 5.15 on the afternoon of 25 April, 1967. Dean was killed in action by enemy fire while in the performance of his duty. He was leading a group of forward observers to set up a position from which to direct mortar fire on enemy positions when his squad encountered a force of North Vietnamese Army regulars who were searching for the mortar team's position. Dean sustained several wounds and succumbed to his injuries before a medical evacuation could be arranged. Dean was new to my command, but he was familiar to me from official reports and from the admiring testimony of many of the Marines under my command who served with him earlier in the war. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, This is one of the most difficult letters I have been required to write. It is with the most heartfelt sympathy that I, as his commanding officer, write to you of the death of your son, Staff Sergeant Dean Shepard, ASN 9893-1357, at 2.30 on the morning of 28 April, 1967. Dean was killed in action by enemy fire while in the performance of his duty. He was manning a foxhole on the night of 26 April when the NVA mounted a counterattack that overran our forward positions. Although his unit was eventually able to retake the positions on the hillside, Dean sustained several wounds and succumbed to his injuries before a medical evacuation could be arranged. Although I was familiar with Dean from the many fond stories his comrades told about him, I knew him personally for only a short time. In that time I came to learn that everything being said about him was justified. Dean performed many heroic actions while serving his country in Vietnam and due to his sacrifices that dark, muddy morning on the hillside north of Khe Sanh, the NVA attack was turned back and the area restored to the control of the Marines. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, this is one of the most difficult letters I have been required to write. It is with the most heartfelt sympathy that I, as his commanding officer, write to you of the death of your son, First Sergeant Dean Shepard, ASN 9893-1357, at 2.23 on the morning of 1 February, 1968. Dean was killed in action by enemy fire while in the performance of his duty. As Communist forces attacked the MACV compound at Hue, Dean's position was subjected to intense fire and ultimately overrun. He bought his comrades enough time to organize a counterattack and retake the perimeter of the compound, but Dean had succumbed to his wounds by the time his men reached him. Dean and a few of us from Quezon were sent to Hue to wait out the remainder of our tours in recognition of the contributions we'd made throughout this conflict. Dean died as he lived, protecting his comrades. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, this is one of the most difficult letters I have been required to write. It is with the most heartfelt sympathy that I, as his commanding officer, write to you of the death of your son, First Sergeant Dean Shepard, ASN 9893-1357, at 1.15 on the afternoon of 5 February, 1968. 
Dean was killed in action by enemy fire while in the performance of his duty. Dean was assisting other Marine units in recapturing the south bank of the Perfume River from Communist forces. The fighting was house to house and very intense, and Dean was shot by small arms fire while attempting to clear a city block held by the NVA. Thanks in part to his sacrifice, the city was cleared, and Hue will soon be in friendly hands. Dean and a few of us from Quezon had been sent to Hue to wait out the remainder of our tours in recognition of the contributions we'd made throughout this conflict. We had no way of knowing the North Vietnamese would launch this cowardly attack on a traditionally off-limit sanctuary. Dean died as he lived, protecting his comrades to the end. I had the great opportunity to fight alongside your son. His valor truly epitomized what it means to be a man. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, this is one of the most difficult letters I have been required to write. It is with the most heartfelt sympathy that I, as his commanding officer, write to you of the death of your son, First Sergeant Dean Shepard, ASN 9893-1357, at 4.40 on the afternoon of 18 February, 1968. Dean was killed in action while assisting the South Vietnamese in retaking the central districts of Hue. He volunteered for this assignment because he had seen firsthand the fate of innocent civilians who had resisted communist control. He believed that these people, although of a different race, nation, and creed, should be allowed the same opportunities of freedom that he enjoyed, and he was willing to put his life on the line to help them. The communists were defeated and the Palace of Peace was recaptured by us and our allies, but Dean was severely wounded in the action and could not be saved. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, as his commanding officer, it is my sad duty to write to you of the death of your son, First Sergeant Dean Shepard, ASN 9893-1357, at 9.30 on the evening of 29 February 1968. Dean was killed in action by enemy fire while defending the combat base at Khe San. Although Dean had satisfied his military obligations and was set to return home, he insisted that he be allowed to return to Khe San to assist the men of his unit, including his brother, Private First Class, Jamie Shepard. He was struck by enemy fire while racing to the assistance of his brother's outpost, and medical attention could not reach him in time to save his life. It may be of comfort to you to know that Jamie is fine and in as good spirits as can be expected, considering the circumstances. I did not have an opportunity to know Dean, as I have been assigned to this command only upon the death of Dean's previous CO, which occurred the same day. In his notes, Captain Dandridge spoke very highly.